we're going to take a look at how creatives are imported into AdGear Trader. A creative in AdGear Trader is represented by an entity called a tag. To see the current list of tags in your buyer account, you can simply click on the Tags tab at the top. Here we can see that in this particular account, there are currently no tags. To create a new tag, we have one of two options. First option is to click on the New Tag button in the top right corner here. When you do that, you're asked to provide a name for this particular tag or ad, uh, as well as specify an advertiser that this tag belongs to. So I could go ahead and do this. The third option is type, which is one of three supported types right now, standard, rich, and vast for video. I'm going to leave this at standard. And then you can see that there's something called the template. By default, the template is ad gear, as this assumes that you're using ad gear console. If, on the other hand, you're dealing with third-party tag, you can simply switch the, the template to third-party at which point you're requested to paste in a third-party tag code. The format option right immediately below requests of you to select the format for this particular tag. Finally, the language and destination URLs are both mandatory as they're required for auditing purposes on the exchanges that Adgear Trader sits on. The destination URL itself should correspond to the declared URL that the tag or ad will redirect to upon click. This is so as to verify that when a user clicks on the ad, that they're redirected to the actual declared destination URL. This is also what allows the sellers on the exchanges that Adgear Trader buys on to block buyers based on destination URL declared. The destination URL must always match the actual URL that the ad redirects to in the end. In other words, the advertiser's destination URL. If it does not match this URL, for example, if it is a tracking URL instead, it's very likely that your tag will be rejected by the third-party exchange that you're, that you're delivering it on. <clears throat> the final Audit on App Nexus button allows you to explicitly request an audit on App Nexus. This is particularly useful if you plan to bid with this tag on the App Nexus exchange or on any of the sellers that are accessible through Adgear Traders integration with App Nexus. I'm not going to create a third-party tag in this manner. Instead, what I'm going to do is show you how you can upload ads into AdGear Console and then bulk import them into Trader through the Import Tags feature in Trader. So to do that, I'm going to switch to a linked AdGear Console advertiser account inside which I have already created an example display campaign. In this campaign, I'm going to go ahead and define a couple of ads. The first is going to be a 300 by 250 image ad. It's going to be in English, and I'm going to give it the name Big Box. You can see that Add Your Console supports a large number of ad types, ranging from simple flash and image ads to pretty extensive JavaScript ads as well as a number of Ripple rich media ads that AdGear Console for Advertisers supports. I'm going to go ahead and just work with image.
And you can see at the bottom here, I have the option to create a placement for Ad Gear Trader that's tied to this ad. This is particularly handy as it saves me a lot of time when creating ads destined to Ad Gear Trader. So I'm going to go ahead and check that. And then if I hit Save and Preview, so we can see that this 300 by 250 ad has rendered properly. Moreover, from this preview page, we can click on the ad to confirm that click tracking in Ad Gear Console is properly working. So let me go back now into ads and I'm going to create a second ad unit. This time a 728 by 90 leaderboard, which I'm going to name leaderboard. It's also going to be in English and it's also going to be an image. And finally, because I intend to import this ad into Ad Gear Trader, I'm also going to check the option at the bottom to create a placement for Ad Gear Trader that's tied to this ad. And let's go ahead and save and preview this ad as well. So, if I now click on this ad, we can see that click tracking, once again, is confirmed to be working. Shortly thereafter, I can go ahead and navigate into the placement section of this campaign. And there I can see that two placements have already been created that map in the ads I just created. There's the leaderboard and the big box. If I navigate into any of these two placements, I can see that they've been properly created with a custom name, that they are properly locked into the format that the ad that I just created is, is locked into as well and that they're associated with a special publisher called Adgear Trader. I can see that the start and end dates for this particular placement were properly inherited from the campaign settings. And finally, at the bottom, I can see that the ad was automatically mapped into this placement um, for me for the purposes of importing into Trader. The same could be said about the 728 by 90 leaderboard placement. From here, I'm able to go into the Invite Publishers section, where I can see that Adgear Console has conveniently grouped the two placements that were just created to the Adgear Trader Publisher. We can also see that there are two formats that have been mapped in for the Adgear Trader Publisher. Note that it's perfectly legal and possible for you to create multiple ads of the same format and, and have them associated to the Adgear Trader Publisher, and they will both be imported as separate tags in Adgear Trader. To import all of these ads into Trader as tags, we simply have to grab the Visit Latch Page URL I click on that for the Adgear Trader Publisher. I'm given a unique URL that I'm going to copy into my clipboard and then navigating back to Adgear Trader in the tag section can simply go to import tags, specify the advertiser in Trader that I want to import these tags for, paste in the corresponding latch page URL and click on import tags. Now we can see that Trader has successfully imported the two placements that we just created in Adgear Console. And that's how tags are imported into Adgear Trader. Now we're ready to create flights and map these tags into flights for the purposes of buying inventory on the exchanges.